doing a segment of cooking with Curtis. This goes back to me working away from home a lot. And I used to work construction. My shift often was 20 days on, eight days off. And I would plan my 20 days of ridiculously easy meals. Primarily because I worked anywhere from 16 to 18 hour days. And when I got back, I did not want to take the time. But truth be known, I don't ever like cooking. My side of cooking is just to consume some calories. And we thought it'd be kind of funny to show primarily how I used to eat or when Debbie's away sometimes or my lunches, I'd often do that. And I'd always give Debbie a bad time when it came to these fast meals and how easy they are to cook. But this is the way to do it. So welcome to Cooking with Curtis. <laughs> Okay, so when you're making nachos, many of you will take the time and you'll come up with a lot of vegetables and you will take time and you will shred your cheese and stuff like that. But there's a much easier way. The amazing thing is they sell this stuff already shredded and that's a good part. But I'll tell you a quick story about the Tex-Mix thing. I bought some of this at Costco and they're big packages and everything else. And I was in a, on a project in Zabella's I did not have a pair of scissors. I didn't even have a knife to really open it properly. So I ended up kind of sawing it with a steak knife to be able to get it open. And I put my tortilla chips in there and I'm shaking this on and I see these red bits everywhere. So I'm looking at the package here at the side it was probably higher. And I'm thinking I have red bits of plastic in my cheese. So I'm spending a bunch of time pulling it all out there and being half blind probably without my glasses like now. And I couldn't figure out why there's so many red bits in this stuff. I tell Debbie <laughs> the story and she just starts laughing at me. What was it that was in there? It's the little peppers in that that are in the cheese. Exactly. And I'm thinking it is the full blown bits of plastic in there. So she got a lot of mileage out of that one. So did Lexi for a long time. I don't see tortilla chips in the car. Oh, I'm looking for a Costco bag of tortilla chips. Again, no glasses. Oh, we're going to blame the no glasses, not man eyes. <laughs> oh. So, Debbie's got some restaurant style stuff. I always bought the two big bags each shift from Costco and little yellow bags of tortilla chips. Good stuff. So, Curtis, do you lay them out in any particular fashion? Sort of. But if you spend too much time doing that there's just not enough time in the day for that <laughs> <laughs> so you just kind of get her through there you call that close enough and you put the heavy cheese on that's a secret we don't have a preheated oven do we yeah oh it's running oh. i was nice to you and i Preheated the oven. That's good. A little bit of staging. That's good. Good planning. Because right now I'd be like going, oh, I should have turned the oven on. So when it comes to vegetables, corn. And then you have cheese. You might, if you had some dried onion bits, I never bought them. Or if you're really ambitious, you cut up onions. Yeah, that's just too much. Fun. The key to this is just chips and cheese. Does that really qualify as nachos? Does my eyes. Some good old fashioned empty calories. They're telling it good. You need a lot of cheese though. That's key. You blow through a bag pretty fast. And you get that slammed in the oven. That's it, you're done. You might want to write that recipe down. We'll share the recipe in the comments. <laughs> Excellent. Don't look for anything else. Towels work fine. Save yourself some energy and some money. Don't need to buy anything else. Right, Debbie? Mm-hmm. Oh, since finding a sharp knife to strip the box open. You're, what are you cooking now? Oh, this is a very important meal. 
this has a lot of serious food groups because you have a noodle which is made out of flour that's a good food group then you have this cheese stuff which is like yellow death but then you have dairy that goes in too and you have milk another dairy so this is really good for you it's uh, very nutritional most college and university students and it's a go-to meal right Debbie mm -hmm. so there's a secret in this it takes years of experience to know just when the noodles are cooked if you make them overcooked what happened to Debbie it's soft and kind of gooey and too much too much milk air too much air oh that's right that's right if they're overcooked they have too much air in that's them. right they're oversized too much air so it's just the secret is just making it perfect okay that's gonna be cooking fine now not ready yet but we'll just make sure we're not getting too carried away let's see if i'm not she's crank now this will be enough food but we do have a special thing is smokies now what's your secret to smokies well this is pretty hard again got to make things easy get yourself a little plate paper plates better because then you don't have to do any dishes but this is the complicated part poke some holes in it with a fork because if you don't debbie gets really mad at you when you blow something up in the microwave or you don't use your little dish thing like that if you don't have one of those things then you can just keep cooking in the microwave until it gets really bad then you just give it to the thrift store thing or and buy a new microwave buy a new microwave oh my that works good so you just look at that you could take the time and heat a pan do all that kind of stuff that's just way too much work and you just nuke that for a while nice white processed bun and that's an instant meal. 30 seconds and you're done. Another secret, don't walk away. These things cook fast. Don't look on your iPhone. Just watch. Very important. So how many times have you overcooked something from being on your iPhone? Particularly nachos. Quite a few times. <laughs> How many times have you overcooked the nachos? A few times. <laughs> so, put Debbie's little trusty little protective shield on. Save the lecture. <laughs> Save the lecture? Save the lecture. Oh, that's the wrong button. And I just listen, and when it sounds like it's gonna blow up, stop. So you wait till you hear popping? Yes, then that's just it temperature that so explains the mess of my microwave oh that's how you do it that's it's all about you know some people cook by taste and smell you can also cook by good old-fashioned noise hear that done 31 seconds and hear the generator in the background it didn't like that noise okay again good old-fashioned white bun homemade by save on foods if you don't have a knife just tear it that's the easier way saves washing the dish later on it's all about saving time and so do you prepare your bun with like mustard or ketchup or relish that stuff's just bad for you it's bad for you yeah so you just i particularly like that you just cut a bun <laughs> over top of the drawer that is open <laughs> That explains a lot as well. <laughs> well, I edit that one out. <laughs> Don't tell Debbie. <laughs> that is done. We have one part of our meal cooked to perfection. Oh, it's got all the things you need on it. Ready to go. Oh, I need milk. Do we have milk? We got eggnog. We don't have any milk. We just have coffee cream. So we gotta make some milk. So again, you can save money too by not having two products that are gonna go bad in your fridge. 
you can have one Debbie's cream you can add a little bit of water to that can you do that for me there assistant oh yeah should be good thank you oh we're gonna get carried away you burn your hands off it's another secret My wife's laughing at me. There is your first part of your meal. Getting very close. We've got three things going at the same time. Okay. Should you turn off your burner? No, no, it's better for fires. <laughs> Fire extinguisher handy, right, Debbie? I do well, have we got one. This special steam effect going on here. That's pretty important. All right. Take this. Rip it across there. <laughs> <laughs> so I've learned over the years, if you cook really poorly, Debbie likes to do the, all the cooking. So I think one of the things going on today is men are really good at barbecuing and cooking and that. And they really do a great job helping their wives out. But if you do a bad job, it's kind of like our kids used to do with dishes. They'd someday do a bad job, chip things, break things, and then Debbie is like, never mind. So, there's some, some sense to my madness. Right, Debbie? Apparently. Whew. Shut that puppy off. Look at this, Debbie. Hot plate? Ah, hot plate. Just throw her up on the burner there. She's good. Look at that. Almost to perfection. First time using this oven. How long have we owned the trailer? Just over a year. See? Pretty good. I don't think I've even cooked in this thing, have I? First time cooking here. Now, Debbie, what was your cooking skills like when we got married? I could bake. You could bake very well. That is true. How about cooking? Not so much. There was a lot of burnt food. Tell us a secret. Some of the stories about how one thing would be ready and then 20 minutes later the other part would be ready. And We mm. ate courses, but <laughs> the courses for our meals were the meat, then the starch, then the vegetable, any of which could be scorched. But you always knew that you just had to survive dinner and there was always going to be a good dessert. Yeah, your baking was wonderful, still is, when you bake. So you must put the butter in first, get that melted through. This is the key, the right amount of milk. Years of experience here cooking craft dinner. When Debbie would leave me home to cook for the kids, it was typically craft dinner. And hot dogs. And hot dogs, cooked like a smoky. Not in a pan, just microwave. A little bit more. Oh, Debbie, you look like you got the perfect amount there. I'll take it. Shouldn't be too runny. Throw that over there just for a second to get some heat on her. We'll call her good. Look at that. Got funky little blue lights and everything. Normally you'd open this powder and spread some yellow stuff mm -hmm. all over the place. But I'll try to be nice. I don't like these handles. These things get hot. I think it's overcooked a little bit. It is not done for perfection. I'm obviously... It must have been because you had so many things going at the same time. Yeah, just, you know, gas, heat versus electric, maybe. 
Well, that looks pretty good. That is, let's put her in a bowl, show you how good this looks. A little wimpy to do that. So look at that, almost perfect. I wanna show your masterpiece. Absolutely, right? It's a little overcooked though. Might only make this a three out of five star meal. Three out of five stars? You were shooting for five stars? Absolutely. I wanted to get an endorsement deal from Kraft Dinner. Did you get it? Okay, and some people eat it with a spoon, some people eat it with a fork. What's the proper way? Well, if you use a big spoon, you just wolf it down faster. If you're trying to be more control, you just go with a spoon. It's easier. And then you leave the mess behind. Oh, isn't that the truth? <laughs> so there you go. Smokies, microwave, 30-second meal, craft dinner. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of elements in there, but it's like a seven-minute meal. Um, How are your nachos? I don't know. Well, I better check them. That's a good point. But I will tell you something about nachos. Debbie's been making them the last while with hamburger on them and vegetables and stuff. That's pretty good. Still don't like the peppers and things like that, but onions and hamburger on them, that's even. I don't know if onions qualify as having vegetable. vegetables on your nachos. It's a vegetable. It's just like potato chips. It's a vegetable. <laughs> potato <laughs> chips are not a vegetable. It is. Okay. We're going to set the table. So you have one out there. Oh, you have paper plates All right, there. Curtis. I sure do. This is your meal, your incredible, what did you, how many stars did you give this meal? Well, I'm looking at the craft dinner. It's overcooked, so I think it's down to a two. That smoky's probably bang on, though, so that's definitely, a, I'd say, a five-star. Nachos? That's got to be, look at that cheese in there. That's got to be close to five stars. So I'd say four and a half stars. There will be no more cooking with Curtis. And there will be no more cooking with Debbie for that matter. I've gotten awfully lazy over the years. I used to cook these really great nutritious meals for my children. And now that it's just Curtis and I, it's like, yeah. Whatever floats your boat, that's what we're having for dinner tonight and uh, it shows it shows that curtis has been eating like a teenage boy and i've been cooking like a broke university student so uh, we have made the decision that we are doing a complete revamp on our health and that means clean eating uh, and good living so we'll be taking on the challenge a six month challenge of getting into shape we both have a lot of weight to lose and a lot of muscle to build and so we will be concentrating on doing things like yoga, which I cannot wait to share it on film of Curtis doing yoga. Uh, I will make sure I share that here. Uh, but we'll be doing yoga, uh, body weight workout, uh, HIIT training, and dumbbells, and hiking. And I don't think we're going to get up to running. I think Curtis and I, both of our knees are in bad enough shape right now. That's not going to happen too too soon in the future but um, we're committed to getting into shape we both feel terrible and our bodies are are showing the toll that we've put on them and so now it's time to take control of that aspect of our lives and it's time to get into shape so it will now be going forward cooking with debbie and curtis and meal planning and healthy living so join us for the six month challenge if you would like to join us um, the biggest thing is for us, and we encourage you to, is just get out and get moving. Uh, reduce the sugars and start eating healthy, lots of fruits and vegetables, and um, not so much of the white junk. So we'll keep you posted as to what's happening. Next week, we have an excellent video. Um, for all you car enthusiasts, you will love it. Curtis is doing a review of his Lexus LC500, an owner's review. Um, 
he had a great time shooting all the footage and it was beautiful fall weather and the leaves were all golden so it should be a really great video so thanks for joining us and uh, it is freaking freezing out here and i cannot wait to get south where that sunshine right there is actually packing some heat into it because right now it's freaking cold see you soon mm -hmm.